option strategy would you turn to if your analysis of a stock or index led you to think the price would trend slightly downwards or even drift sideways for a while? While many options traders might buy a put to try and profit from the downward price action, the underlying price would need to drop far enough not only to cover the cost of buying the put, but also earn a profit. This must also happen before the option expires. A bear call spread is an option strategy that benefits if the price of a stock or index drops or stays relatively unchanged. It involves selling one call option and simultaneously buying a second one with a higher strike price. If the underlying price stays below the sold call option strike price, you keep the premium you collected from selling the call. However, if it goes above that, you might lose, but your losses are limited because of the call option you bought. A bear call spread lets you take a moderately bearish position on a stock or index while limiting your upfront costs, profit, and risk. As with any strategy that sells options, the short call is at risk of assignment until it is closed or expires. Some traders may place bear call spreads on European style options on indexes, which may only be exercised at expiration. Let's use a simple hypothetical example to demonstrate. Say XYZ stock is currently trading at $50 per share. You could sell a call option with a $52 strike and buy one with a $55 strike price with the same expiration. Selling the call means you now have an obligation to sell 100 shares of XYZ at $52 if you are assigned. But since you bought another call, you can buy 100 shares of XYZ at $55 before that call expires. If the stock stays below $52, both options expire worthless, allowing you to keep the premium you receive for selling the $52 call. Commissions and fees are not included in our calculations. If it goes above $55, you exercise the $55 call to buy shares at $55 and then sell them against your obligation at $52. Your maximum loss is capped at the difference in strike prices minus the premium received. The trader must maintain an account balance large enough to buy the shares they exercise. Let's analyze the premiums involved in this options trade. Consider a scenario where you sold the $52 strike call for a premium of $3. Generally, a call option with a higher strike price of $55 would have a lower premium because it is further out of the money and less likely to be exercised. For simplicity, Let's assume you bought the $55 strike call option for a premium of $1. When you buy a call option, the premium paid reduces the net premium you receive from selling another call option. In this case, if you collected $3 from selling the $52 strike call and paid $1 to buy the $55 strike call, your maximum potential profit from this spread trade is $2. It's important to note that options premiums are quoted per share. Since each call option contract represents 100 shares, your maximum potential profit for this spread trade would be $200, $2 times 100 shares. The maximum profit is realized if the options expire and the underlying price is below the short strike. We also learned that the maximum loss is limited to the difference between the strikes minus the premium collected. Because the strategy is often used when volatility is high, the danger of large price swings is elevated. Traders may want to monitor the position closely to recognize when they need to exit early to protect a profit or minimize losses. A stop loss and or bracket order can also be used to lower the loss of the spread before it reaches the maximum. Option Station Pro allows placing these orders on bear call spreads once the position has been entered. We also need to consider the break-even price. The break-even price for a bear call spread is the short strike plus the premium received. The bear call spread strategy starts incurring losses once the underlying asset's price rises above the break-even point. As the underlying asset's price continues to increase, the losses from the strategy will also grow larger. The maximum potential loss for this bear call spread will be realized if the underlying asset's price reaches or exceeds the strike price of the long call option, which is the higher strike price that was purchased. The bear call spread is a credit spread with positive theta. 
That means the strategy benefits from time decay. With a bear call spread, the short call option will be exposed to time decay, which will work in your favor. As time passes, that call option you sold will lose value due to time decay. Assuming all other factors remain the same, you could buy it back for less premium later and lock in a profit on the trade. The long call option you purchase is also decaying in value, but with a higher strike price, its time decay rate is slower than the short call you sold. So time is benefiting the bear call spread strategy. Options with more time remaining until expiration will tend to have higher premiums. While this may seem like a better opportunity to capitalize on this time decay, the time decay is not linear. It grows exponentially and increases sharply when there are 30 days or less to the expiry. When choosing the bear call spread expiration, traders must decide whether they want the faster decay of the shorter expirations or the larger premium of the longer ones. In addition to time decay, a bear call spread can benefit from a drop in implied volatility, a key factor influencing an option's price. High implied volatility typically raises premiums, while low implied volatility lowers option prices. You are net short volatility in a bear call spread since you sold a call and bought a further out of the money call. That means if implied volatility drops from the levels when you entered the trade, it should benefit your position. As volatility decreases, the short option you sold will lose value faster than your long call option. This volatility crush can provide a profit tailwind to your bear call spread strategy. For example, let's say you entered the spread when the stock had 30% implied volatility. If implied volatility dropped to 20%, the short call you sold would rapidly decay while the long call maintained more value. In an ideal bear call scenario, volatility should begin to contract after you enter the trade, amplifying your potential profits from time decay and the overall trade. Time decay and volatility decay only benefit traders employing the bear call strategy if they exit the position before the expiration of the options contracts. The gradual decrease in the options premiums due to these decays allow traders to buy back or close the spread at a lower cost than their initial entry price. However, to realize the maximum potential profit from a bear call spread, the underlying asset's price must remain below the strike price of the short call option when the options expire. Selecting strikes for the bear call spread is important. Since the intention is to have prices remain below the short strike, traders often choose to sell a call above a resistance level. The long call strike establishes the risk for the bear call spread. The further away it is from the short call strike, the greater the spread risk. Bear call spreads have limited profit potential with the premium paid for the long call lowering the spread's maximum profit. Typically, higher price strikes cost less and result in a greater maximum profit. Traders must determine which balance of risk and reward works best for their situation. A bear call spread may be the right strategy to deploy when you expect the price of a stock or index to stay relatively flat or drop a little. It should be used when the implied volatility is high and expected to drop. The spread also benefits from time decay, which sharply increases when there are 30 days or less to the expiry. The TradeStation Desktop Platform and OptionStation Pro provide powerful features to analyze, enter, and manage these spreads. The Scanner and Radar Screen apps give you the ability to identify securities with high implied volatility or slightly bearish price action that may be right for the bear call spread. You can identify them in real time. Be sure to access the downloadable workspace and instructional PDF, which will guide you in using radar screen to identify bearish stocks or indexes. The additional analysis tools in OptionStation Pro allow you to evaluate various scenarios, including changes in price or volatility, to model bear call spreads in detail. Before implementing the strategy, carefully assess market conditions and risk tolerance. Then, 
practice it in TradeStation's simulated trading mode to build confidence without risking real money. TradeStation's order entry was designed for efficiency, allowing you to quickly build and transmit a bear call spread order with only a few clicks. The platform also allows advanced order types like activation rule orders, letting you automatically enter the spread's two legs when the conditions are right. The combination of cutting edge analytics, integrated volatility data, and efficient order entry facilitates trading bear call spreads on OptionStation Pro, a powerful trading technology optimized for option spreads. Start using OptionStation Pro to analyze potential bear call spread candidates today. Let TradeStation provide the edge in making these trades accurately and efficiently.